Lonnie Dupre's project takes us to the Arctic. Mysterious, desolate and fragile. The impact of global warming on this extraordinary landscape is beginning to become evident. The Arctic ice is melting and the vulnerable ecosystem it supports is threatened. The Arctic is really the litmus test of global climate change. The ice in the Arctic Ocean, both in uh, thickness and in volume, and slowly receding from the edges. What we're going to find out here is really just an uh, accelerated picture of what's going to happen in the south. I want to cross the Arctic Ocean to bring attention to global warming. We're going to cross from Siberia to the North Pole to Canada. First ever summer crossing of the Arctic Ocean. The shoreline of Lake Superior in Minnesota is home to Lonnie Dupre. Lonnie was the first man to circumnavigate Greenland. Shocked by the scale of the ice melt on that journey, he was inspired to make an expedition to draw attention specifically to global warming. A veteran of six major expeditions, Lonnie is planning the One World Expedition for May 2005. The epic journey will cover 2,000 kilometers across the top of the world and last over 100 days. The first summer crossing of the Arctic Ocean will be a huge physical and mental challenge. Lonnie's strategy will rely heavily on his recent Greenland Arctic experience. Again, he will use skis and kayaks to navigate the hazardous Arctic pack ice and freezing waters. Eric Larson, a friend and fellow explorer from Minnesota, will join Lonnie on the expedition. To go on a major expedition is something that I've been trying to achieve that I've been working towards most of my life. It didn't take me very long to decide to say yes that I would go. The journey will also be extremely dangerous. Er Eric's strengths are his, he's quite an athlete, but what it's gonna really take is a lot of mental preparedness. For myself to go out alone and do something like this, I would be a fool, just because I don't have the experience. And so his um, Arctic experience is gonna be very important to our success. The actual expedition will start in Russia from Cape Artishki in Siberia, crossing to the geographic North Pole, then on to the finish at Ellesmere Island, Canada. The volatile tides, winds and unpredictable movement of the ice flows have prevented even the most experienced explorers from previously attempting a summer crossing of the Arctic Ocean. I love the Arctic because it's peaceful. It's a simplicity of life up here. And you're really rooted in with Mother Nature and the surrounding. In isolated Arctic communities like Coral Harbor, the Inuit people who live here have witnessed climate change on a scale unseen since the Ice Age. As the ecosystem is threatened, so is their way of life. The Inuit live by the sea. And so they use the sea for traveling, they use the sea for hunting. How it's affecting their hunting, for instance, is the ice is a lot thinner. It's very, very dangerous now. A lot of Inuit hunters drown um, due to thin ice. It also changes the migration patterns of the eider ducks, of the caribou. They can never bank on their old experiences anymore. Everything is changing. My main goal is to get the word out about, uh, about global climate change more than, more than making the crossing of the Arctic Ocean. A lot of the ice of the Arctic Ocean you can see from satellites, but no one's really been on foot traveling across it like two ants in a plowed field. And so that's going to give us firsthand a view of how much water is actually in the Arctic Ocean. And each day we're going to put in our diary how much water and how much snow we've actually crossed. So we basically have to be amphibious. We have to go in and out of the water. 
uh, pull those kayaks across these pans uh, by ski. And then when we come to an open lead of, of water again, set the boat in the water, paddle across it. I see a good pan up here. I've often had seals come right up next to the, the kayaks. I actually had narwhals uh, right next to the boat at times, and uh, it was actually a mother narwhal and a little gray baby narwhal uh, right next to her. And we were able to paddle right alongside. So it's kind of a non-intrusive way of traveling around and being as close to nature as you can. The most dangerous part of this entire expedition is flipping over on the water. First 70 kilometers from Cape Artishki in Russia out to where the sea ice is going to be more packed together. It's that long crossing where the boats are going to be the heaviest. And if there's any waves or any sudden storm comes up, we could potentially capsize. And there's, there's no way of being rescued at that point. Lonnie and Eric take a break from training to visit the school in Coral Harbor and tell the children about their expedition. We're not taking a snow machine, we're not taking a dog team, but what we need to do, and just like what a lot of you do when you're traveling out on the land, is we have to go across ice, and then when we get to open water, we have to cross the open water too. So we need something that's part sled, one half sled, one half comatic, and one half, one half comatic. For these children, Lonnie's aim to raise awareness of global climate change might just be in time to preserve their way of life. The Rolex Award for Enterprise will help to make Lonnie's One World Expedition a reality. Across the Arctic Ocean. You cannot start thinking about the finish line on day one, two, three, because you'll never get there mentally if you do that. You need to make each day your life. This is what we do. And that's what we're going to be doing every single day until we finally get to the finish. When I go buy a pack ice in various shapes, it's kind of like uh, God's own artwork on the surrounding sea ice. And every piece of ice that we go by looks something different. We call it One World Expedition because we are crossing by the North Pole where all the lines of longitude meet there at the North Pole and each one of those lines of longitude finger out like a spider to all the, all the countries on Earth. People need to realize that we're all on this globe together. We all need to pitch in to make uh, this world a better place for everybody. <laughs>